Okay, something happened over Christmas weekend. I don't know what it was, but involving XP computers. Whenever you boot your computers after Defem December 25th, this is what will happen. Your computer will start, and then it will get to the point where it reboots, and it will just reboot. And you won't be able to um, even go into safe mode or anything like that. So I'm going to try to do that right now. But you'll see that no matter what mode I use, it'll just keep rebooting itself over and over again. And no matter what, it won't work. And I can go into Ubuntu, that's fine. But Windows PCs, apparently, something is happening that's preventing... I'm going to go into safe mode and you'll see it won't reboot it'll go all the way down, loads all the drivers loads the SPC that's all that's fine all this is normal and then it just reboots so I searched on, I googled and no one is reporting this, no one's talking about it I, don't, I talked to another friend that told me about this that happened to him and I just figured that it was something that he did, that he had downloaded some virus. Then I came home today, and now I'm finding out that it's happening to my PC as well. So I don't know why no one's talking about it. It's been three days. And this is the first time. My computer was off all week, and the last time I was able to use it was Christmas. And I was not, I didn't use it Sunday or Monday. Um, so I don't really know what's going on. Even if I use last known configuration, and I'll go, I'll show you a second what happens if I go into recovery console. It just freezes, and then it just reboots again. So I don't know what's going on. If anyone knows what's going on, probably no one knows. If anyone even watches this video, but something is happening. Something happened over the weekend to XP PCs connected to the internet. Because I did wake up Sunday and my computer was off and my Wacom tablet light was blinking off and on so I just thought it automatically shut down and I really honestly didn't think anything of it and I just spent the weekend you know oh damn it I forgot to okay there we go now I'm gonna go into the recovery hold on, I'm gonna go into the um uh, Try this, but this won't work. See, that gets reboots. And I'm going to show what happens when I go into Recovery Console. When I go into Recovery Console, it just freezes. Nothing happens. On my friend's computer, it reboots. And this is a uh, AMD, as you can see. It's a, well, there, there it is. 2800 XP. Uh, it has two gigabytes of RAM and a 2 gigahertz processor it's not powerful I'm going to uh, F F8 no, I'll wait um, what can I do here? I'll go back here, I'm going to show what happens when it goes in the recovery console it'll just stop at the please wait screen and it just stays there it just stays there And then I'll just stay there. And nothing will happen. It just stays there. Uh, you see, this hard drive starts to... You see, the Wacom tablet is blinking. You see? You see? My USB drive is on. A little Bluetooth thing, USB Bluetooth. Um, I just now the the light is solid. This blinked. It's an external hard drive. External hard drive. This is my shuttle. All this stuff, and this is the DVD drive, which still works. You know, the light on my computer turns on. I mean, the, I mean everything's receiving power. Okay, even my wireless mouse. 
it's receiving power. So everything's being powered, but the operating system just isn't loading. And at first I thought, you know, it was a virus my, my friend got, but now I'm thinking that maybe it's something that just happened all across the internet. But why no one's talking about it after three days is beyond me. So um, that's why I'm posting this video. Um, luckily for me, I have, you know, pushing buttons on the keyboard doesn't work because the, the keyboard actually freezes, by the way, you can see that. None of the keys are working. So the keyboard freezes. And I think it locks up at this point. You can listen, you can hear the heart, the uh, fan is coming up. So I don't know what is going on here. Um, the one thing I did at this point was to restart. I was going to do this. Put my recovery tool CD in there. Um, but I want to post this. The one thing that isn't coming on is the camera. The camera is not coming on. But of course that needs to be loaded into. At first I had my Final Fantasy disc and this game disc inside a DVD drive and I thought that was causing it because sometimes if I have a disc in a drive it'll cause it to, uh, to not boot or rather it won't go to the grub menu now I don't know why it would have been a power issue because I have a pack of power supply so I don't know what caused the thing to turn off and I don't know what I should do at this point so I okay well if anyone has any ideas or if this is happening to you, then please respond to this video. Because I've gone to all these little threads about XP rebooting, XP rebooting, and none of them are giving answers. It's just, it's basically these sites that want you to pay them or they're volunteers. Basically, there are no professionals and no experts out there offering any real solutions. And all of them talk about an XP disk, but this is an HP. And if you know anything about HP, they're notorious for creating computers that have a recovery partition but no disk you have to make your own recovery disk and they're not really the disk that belong to the operating system they're just recovery disk and HP is notorious for that so I'll never buy another HP again um, so I you see it's just stuck so I have no idea how this is going to fix um, the one thing I did do with this one was that I restarted it and I was able to go into Ubuntu and that's cool so I don't know the LAN adapter is working. So all the little peripherals are working, just that the operating system isn't booting. And all of this started after Christmas. I was able to use this on Christmas, and I woke up Sunday, and it was everything. It, it was like that, but the monitor was off, and I couldn't start the monitor, and the keyboard wasn't working. So, and just I'll just restart it so I can give you an idea what the message what message it's giving um, and they're probably telling me probably saying I shouldn't have done that while I was doing that but <laughs> the system stopped I don't know what was going on so I'm going to do this right really quick to give you to show you the message because I can't go into my editor I can't do anything so I'll just show you what the message is that it's giving as it um, rebooting since I won't be able to let me just hold on let me just go here okay there we go disable automatic restart and this is the message that it's showing and this normally and this is the message that it gets start and yeah there it is so that's the message that it's giving um, the lights causing it not to be red. Oh, it's fucked up. Okay, well, it just says a problem has detected. Windows has been shut down to prevent damage. It's not the first time, of course. Stop this error message, and you can see the error message. And it says to disable uninstall, but how can you disable and uninstall anything if you can and get to the system? So this message is pretty stupid. And in my experience, this information has been 100% completely, absolutely useless to anyone working in any technical support because I've sent these messages to all kinds of technical support people and every time I get a response, they never ever implicitly respond to the meaning of these messages. So I'm just curious 
it's probably there are it's probably no one out there that has any idea what these messages mean or how to use the messages to resolve a problem so it to me it seems like a lot of times I would think that I would uh, send this information to someone they come back with an explicit response but nowadays it seems because so many people are poorly educated on their computers especially technical information this stuff is pretty much useless you know they have no idea what it means they won't be able to help you you can't no one will be able to tell you what it means you won't be able to interpret it and how you use it to fix your computer or anything so I have no idea at this point you just have to restart the computer because it's not it's just going into a boot and I think something happened over Christmas but I need to confirm that as far as I know I'm only the second person that's having this problem me and my neighbor so if there's anyone else that's having this you have to have an XP computer uh, system pack 3 the service pack 3 and you are either a 32 bit or 64 bit PC post your video if you can or comment because if there's anyone else that's having this problem I need to know I can't because all I did I was just editing videos I uploaded a video to my YouTube I went to Facebook and I did a virus scan okay and that was it and my computer was set up to automatically either go into hibernate hibernate mode and um, like I said when I woke up my Wacom tablet was blinking okay and the computer the monitor was off but I could hear the, the computer and everything I couldn't the monitor was in sleep mode so I couldn't get anything to actually respond and when I rebooted it everything was fine and then that was it I haven't used my computer since the 26th because I was spending actually I spent all weekend watching Netflix on my Wii so that's what I was doing and then of course I spent Christmas and all that but as far as today today's the first day I actually booted into Windows because I was helping my friend and this is shocking so I told him the best thing he can do is just restart and hopefully this recovery tool it may work I'll try it out but any responses and replies if there is any if anyone even sees this video because I don't have that many accounts but we'll see okay I'm glad to go into Bluetooth in order to upload this so all right that really sucks so all right that's it